Welcome to another episode of Minecraft for Maps. I am the Talking Potato, and today I bring you this thing. <laughs> yeah, this thing on the whiteboard is a tractor. If you see this, what does it remind you of? Well, it reminds me of Farming Simulator. And today's map is just about that. As we stand in the middle of this farmhouse, that means we have finished loading into the world of farm life. This is pretty much a farming simulator type of game, which consists of taking care of animals, doing farm works. Ah, look at the tractor. Hey. And there are plenty of things for us to try for this episode. But first of all, let me introduce you guys to the tractor, the rusty tractor we have. Yeah, we only have a rest. Sadly, we only have a rusty tractor. <laughs> That's all we have. But let me introduce you guys to how to farm, to farming basic 101. First of all, to start farming, the land. Oh, I did not mean to honk. But the land will always needed to be plowed. Yeah, that that is why we have this thing behind our back. It's called a plower. It's probably called a plower. I have no idea what's the name for the, for this thing. It's called a plower, probably. And then if we click spacebar, it starts plowing. See? Hey. <laughs> See how handy this is? The only downside is it is actually quite hard to use. So I normally do this. I kind of just flip, flip, flip. Do a careful, careful, do a flip. Do a tiny flip and fill up the gaps and go back. <laughs> farming simulator. Not not really farming. <laughs> not really simulating anything to be to be fair. Because uh, you can't turn like this in regular, well, in regular life, <laughs> in normal life. This is just fictional farming, I guess. Well, let me quickly finish plowing this whole land. Hey, welcome back, guys. Oh, welcome back. I almost ruined my perfect line. Welcome back, guys. After a day, well, a full day in Minecraft, a, a days of plowing, I have... Oh, oh, no, I messed it up. I have finished plowing the whole farmland. Look how nice everything looks. Right? Everything is nicely fitted and plowed. To be fair, I'm going to quickly fix this. Ha! Nice and fixed. <laughs> nice and even, nice and fixed. Good enough for me. Oh, three block actually. You know what? I'm not gonna let you guys down. Three block. Three block. Yeah, hey! Nice and even, nice and symmetrical. Just like the way, uh, just the way I like it. Well, the thing left for us to do is now we have to water it. But before that, let me teach you guys how to detach our uh, plower. I think you just crouch and click, right click. Well, you got shoot over the fence, but good enough for us. <laughs> well, let us go get our sprayer. I think the next thing we need is a sprayer. Oh, that is a cedar, not a sprayer. We need a sprayer instead of a cedar. For most of the lands, Spraying is very essential. It's oh, we found our sprayer. Yeah, hey. For most lands, spraying is very important. But for I think for wheat and uh, and other oh and some other plants, I think kelp, not kelp. I I don't remember the name for for a second. So sudden. Anyhow, there are a couple of plants that does not need. Uh, that much care to it. There are plants that need dry land to take care of itself. So, well, enough said. Let us first water our land. I think also press space. Yeah, look how it just opens up. This will be so much easier than 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 regular, than just regular. What's it called? Than plowing, because this finished such a big range in just one go. Well, let me quickly finish wat watering this whole sector. Mm. 
Hey, nice and easy. We have almost finished everything. The the the, the watering part, I'd say, it's probably the most satisfying part in <laughs> in this game, in this map. It's so easy. You just need to drive around, drift around, then everything is done. Well, let us stop our water. Oh, I did not mean to get off. Let uh, let us stop our sprayer and put our sprayer back to where it belongs. Let's turn a little bit. Yeah, and right click. Good job. The last part will just be plant the seed. So it needs a seeder. I presume this is one. Yeah, this is probably one. I'm not sure though, but probably this is the one. <laughs> I finally figured out the secret formula. Yeah, and also I've searched around everywhere on Google and nothing works. None of the advice they've given on Reddit and anywhere, they work. They don't work. So this is the correct way to add seed to a planter in farm life. This is such a well-made map. Shamefully, they don't have like a good description for how to, like a manual for how to use things. First of all, you have to attach your planter, then hold the seed in your the hand you want to use. Well, hold the seed you want to use in your hand, and right-click the front part of the tractor. You will see. The information of the the seed has been loaded. Now just go on, go on your vehicle, and press space. You will start to plant your things. You will start to plant your crops. The only downside is, for some reason, it kind of messes messes up some parts of it. Look at look at the part I'm look look at it. Look at it. Look how weird that is. It kind of just pushes everything down for some reason. Maybe that means it's it's planted successfully. On I'm not sure. But uh, well, that is how you use this. Simple, right? Simple. Simple for to be fair, simple for you guys, but not really that simple for me. Look how fast everything grows. It's already half grown already. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. That's pretty much how to use everything in the、uh, farm life. Well, now let us head to the secret corner of my、uh, my farm and show off all of the seed to you guys. It is time for me to show it to you guys all of the seed and oh, look at the mountain over there! All of the seed and everything this mod offers. Well, especially only the seed, probably, <laughs> to show you guys how how big um、uh, how big the amount of seed they have added to this mod. By the way, I have changed my tick rate so that、uh, everything grow much quicker, so that I can show you multiple at the same time, so that everything will be acceptable, <laughs> growing at an acceptable <laughs> accept acceptable amount of time. The first one is, of course, of course, of our, our wheat seed drops one wheat, just like regular wheat seed does nothing. The second one and the third one, of course, the pumpkin and the melon, which both are well, are really good building blocks. Oh, they are. It is growing quite quick. <laughs> well, let us keep them there as a souvenir. The next one is the beetroot, which is my. Let's let's say third favorite, probably my third favorite、uh, veggie in all Minecraft, because it can make stool. You can eat a bit raw, and it doesn't doesn't do anything bad to you. <laughs> Pretty much, that's that's the only reason I like it. <laughs> the next one is alpha 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 something. What's it called? Alpha la alpha alpha four. Alpha flour. Anyhow, I have no idea what this is. I really have no idea what this is. If you guys know what this is, just tell me down below. I really have the slightest idea of. I don't have. What the hell is this thing? It even looks weird in my hand. Not in my hand.、It、even looks weird on the item preview. Huh? Is this some kind of radish? Probably some kind of radish. It is probably some kind of radish. Alpha flour. Alfalfa, <laughs> funny name though. The next one being apple, of course the apple, but not like the regular apple though. It's a tiny apple tree. Yeah, look at that. 
I can oh I didn't even see that ripening. Did you guys see that? See the ripening of the of the of the fruit? Oh it drops a different apple than regular Minecraft apple. Interesting. Super interesting. The next one is the April Oh apricot. Apricot. Do you guys like apricot? Apricot is pro Ooh. Wait a second. Do 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 acorns actually apricots actually have pink uh pink leaves? I really like apricot as well, because it's a such a tasty fruit. I mean, it is a take ta ta really tasty fruit, and it reminds me of uh, uh, what's it called? What's the name for that thing? Apricot, apricot, apricot gem, apricot gem. <laughs> Somehow I forgot the name for apricot gem. The next one is avocado, of course, avocado. Everybody loves avocado. Well. Let us see the next set of fruits. Avocado. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. Two, three, four, five, six. Avocado toast. Banana. Yeah, hey, banana. Who doesn't like banana? Especially banana smoothie. And beans? <laughs> beans. You like some beans? I would like some beans. I'm kind of, I'm actually kinda of, kinda of hungry just looking at plants. I'm probably the weirdest guy. I'm probably the weirdest one on the internet. Looking at plants makes me hungry. Oh, let us harvest some blueberry. Look at the blueberries. Ooh, nice and juicy. Oh, just from the look, I know this is a good, good blueberry. What, what's this one? The bean? Yeah, the bean. <laughs> what kind of monstrous... What kind of monstrous bean is this? The longer slim beans? Even it even drops the bean seed. <laughs> what kind of monster is this? Bananas! I love bananas. I've been playing a little bit too much uh, Tears of the Kingdom, <laughs> which banana is something really powerful if you know what I mean. <laughs> Again, it, it makes you attack, well, hit harder and makes you do plenty other things. Well, the next one is, is this one the broccoli? Yeah, this one is broccoli! Kids does not like broccoli, but I do. I love broccoli. Do you guys like broccoli? Probably not. Surprisingly, most uh, most American kids do not like... Ooh, what is this? Butternut! Whatever this is. I have never... I have never a eaten a butternut before. What What are you? Oh, Brussels sprouts. I probably have to break it to harvest it, right? Yeah, I, I do have to break it. Brussels sprout, interesting. There are so many, so many interesting fruits and veggies in, in this mod pack. And surprise, surprise, I think all of them can be made into, uh, into food. So that you can have like, I think, I think hundreds of different food, food items. You can make, uh, for example, you can make tea and you can make pies and you can make different uh different food like ice cream sundae banana the banana boat banana split and stuff look at that we can already make pumpkin pie apple smoothie apricot smoothie apricot smoothie Ooh, banana smoothie cooking oil co cooking oil from what avocado Ooh, interesting fr 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 why, why can i make? oh yeah fried chicken fruit salad and noodles Look, look at all the choices. Well, let us head to the... Well, not head to the... Let us try out the second set of uh, veggies and seeds. The first one... Oh, the first one being not a diamond pickaxe. <laughs> uh, not, not a diamond hoe. The first one being the cabbage. Cabbage. I'm such a cabbage boy. <laughs> I still have no idea what that means, but cabbage is cabbage. Who does not like a good and round cabbage? What's this one? Oh, this one is cauliflower. As well, well, same as the same as uh, cabbage. Who does not like a good round cauliflower? Cauliflower, not a cali cauliflower. Dipped in ketchup or dipped in any other things? Dipped in ranch, probably. The ranch is probably the best one. Just raw and it tastes already. It already tastes good. What is a what is a well celery? Yeah, celery. I love celery. Celery in some peanut butter. Great things. 
great health, being good or great at being healthy. <laughs> I'm starting to rumbling because I have nothing to say pretty much. <laughs> Revealing plants is the least I can do. What is this? This is chard. Whatever chard is, do you become a chad eating that? Cherry. Cherry tree. Cherry tree, please grow. Please grow. Please grow your seed. Yeah, cherry. Is it? Oh, I, I thought for one second that it didn't even drop any cherries. To be fair, I can kill for some cherry smoothie right now. Cherry and the chili. Chili seed. Yeah, I, I, I really like chili. I, I add chili to everything. <laughs> Have you guys heard uh, the, the 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 sriracha uh, the company the what's that called the com the sriracha company decided to stop uh, supplying sriracha for a month or something, and it caused a nationwide panic. <laughs> and I think I think so. What? Oh, this is corn. <laughs> for one second, I thought I forgot what this thing is. And also, I I saw it on eBay or somewhere else that one bottle of sriracha they they are selling it for I think. $120 or something. That is freaking crazy. That is just in insanity. Oh, you actually have to broke to get a coin. I thought you just click to get a coin. What's this one then? Cotton. Okay, good. Good cultural references. Cotton. <laughs> Cotton. Good thing though. I have plenty. I have plenty of everything in this category. That is quite quick. Well, let us try the next set. The courgette. Courgette seed, eh? The, the zucchini, is it? Is it called that? Zucchini? Courgette? Probably not. I'm probably remembering it wrong, but uh, I think it's called zucchini in America. Uh, What's this one? Cucumber. Ooh, cucumber. Interesting, cucumber. Ooh, look at the tiny little yellow flower. I, I often think that is quite cute. Durin. The smelliest of the smelliest, but I just like it just the way I like it. Oh, look at that cute looking yellow flower. Is it ripened yet? Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah, it's ripened. Oh, look how tasty that is. Look, look at the tasty flash. Oh, well, to be fair, <laughs> to, to tell you the truth, I, I'm not dying to do it, but uh, I can stand the smell and the taste of it. I can just stand it. Just, just stand it. Not not stand it a lot, but I can stand it. <laughs> eggplant. Look at this juicy plum eggplant. Ooh, just put it on a stove top or put, just just fry it. Just fry it plain and add some soy sauce some some other things. Oh, that's gonna be super good. Grapes. How about some grapes? But I never knew uh, eggplants actually grow on these kind of fence thingy as well. Hmm. I know grapes because I have been to a vineyard. And uh, kiwi. Oh, kiwi also grown on this sort of things. Hmm, interesting. Never knew that. I thought kiwi. I thought kiwi kiwi grows like uh, lemon plants, like the shorter lemon plants. So like a bushy type of thing. Oh, never knew it grows on in grows in this. Well, let us check out what we can craft with our food. We can craft cooking oil, crispy crispy color cauliflower. Be interesting. During smoothie, mm. fried fish, which is needs. Ooh, that sounds awesome! Fried fish, fruit salad again, grape juice, hot wings. Who doesn't like a hot wing? Kiwi smoothie, and popcorn. Mm. I can kill for some popcorn, <laughs> it's especially the those caramel popcorn. Ooh, that sounds really good. Let's just like the just 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 saying the name of that. Ooh, that sounds super awesome. Well, let us move on to the next set of seeds. Hey, coming up, we have lemon seed. Yeah, yeah. This is this kind of tree is what I mean by uh, the kiwi fruit. I thought uh, I thought kiwi grows on like a shorter, well, pretty much a smaller, shorter tree. Oh, lettuce, lettuce. Who does not like a good round lettuce? <laughs> I just said that to the cabbage. You know what? I'm still thinking about. Uh, I'm still think. I, I was originally thinking about playing through this mod pack, just like regularly play through. 
uh, not regularly regular playthrough do like a survival run of it and build like build myself a nice looking farm and stuff but uh, yeah this is probably gonna take way too long oat olive orange ooh, orange let us take a look at all of them the lemon mmm mm, lemon sour sour lemon lemon what is this thing can we lettuce where did my lettuce go? My lettuce just disappeared. And uh, mandarin? Ooh, mandarin. I love a mandarin. Sweet and juicy mandarin. Mango. Ooh, this one looks... Oh, this one's getting me salivating. The green mango dipped in, I think, uh, spicy chili. Ooh, that is some taste. That is some taste. Of God, <laughs> this is the taste of God. For some reason, I'm li I really have limited uh, vocabulary while recording videos. For some reason, I, I often thought my vocabulary was kind of kind of good. Like I have a good, a ver a good variety of things to say to describe uh, to describe food, describe everything. But uh, well, every time I record things, uh, my, my my vocabulary just just goes into this good. I like. That's it. Which is, which I feel quite dumb. I kind of just lost all my, uh, oh, lo all my speaking abilities. <laughs> like all my papers and presentation I did in schools just doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> I lost all ability to speak and do anything. Well, let us take a look at the last set of what is that? What is that thing shining over there? <laughs> well, let us take a look at the last set of seeds before the sun goes down because if the sun goes down the seed won't grow the first one is a peach peachy the pear the the, the peppers which i can grow pineapples plum pomegranate oh i love a pomegranate olive we have seen and orange we have seen hey all of them have grown just in time well let us you know what let us just throw all of them out <laughs> yeah the lava pit i yeah i'm just i just got too lazy to take out the lava pits <laughs> the first one let us take a look at our pictures hmm i guess that looks like a yeah this is a smoothie type uh peaches do you guys know like the plumber the peaches oh this is a crappy pair i don't even want to look at you the plumber a pair is why are there P oh, that's peach seed. Oh, I thought I thought that was a pear. Look at that. That looks like a yellow, uh, tiny little yellow brown pear. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I was I was saying the plumber a peach looks, the juicier it will be, like the better the better fitting it will be, uh, to put it in a smoothie. Cause if you have like really really uh, unplum pitch peaches really slim peaches they are not good for smoothie they are dry and they have like a as they have a some some sort of acidity to it making a smoothie kind of tastes like just just nothing if you add blueberry and stuff to it it just tastes like nothing anyhow let us see what kind of uh what kind of food we can make it with it still the fried fish still the fruit salad lemonade Ooh, i li like myself a lemon smoothie Mandarin smoothie, mango smoothie, olive oil, orange smoothie, all smoothie, I guess. Well, there are plenty of... Yeah, there are plenty of... Uh, food items we can craft with... Oh, st I, I, I didn't even see it. Stuffed olives. Hmm. Stuffed salted olives. Sounds good. Yeah, so there are still plenty more options and plenty more food for you guys to grow. I, I'm not gonna spoil it in case you guys want to play it, but that will be it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. The, today's episode is kind of a new thing to me. It's kind of it's more like an introductory show off video of a mod. I this mod this mod pack really have the potential. It's as it's almost as good as a regular, uh, re re regular Java mod pack like a like a popular java mod pack it's well made it has so much content i didn't even cover the the animal parts yeah 
If I have to rate it, I'll probably give it a 7.5 out of uh, 10. And also, it's free in the marketplace. So if you guys want to try it out, please download it and try it out. It's gonna take forever to do, like, to to cover it with an episode. So if I want to play it regularly and go buy tractors and buy all the other things, it's gonna take a year to do it. Probably, it's it's probably gonna take more than uh, Dave's Divers episode. Well, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, today's reviewing video. I hope you enjoyed. And yes, I will be seeing you guys in the next episode. Well, bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.